Hi YouTube, it's Miyaka. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching. Just wanted to come to you guys and um, give my review on two different anti-itch growth oils. The first oil is the Do Grow anti-itch growth oil. And that's what it looks like. The next oil is the Softy Signature Growth Oil um, Rejuvenating Soothing Anti-Itch Formula. They pretty much both have the same claims on the front, but I'll read them to you. Um, the Dugro bottle says, helps eliminate flaking and itching, promotes strong, healthy growing hair, um, tea tree oil, shea butter, and vitamin formula, eases scalp tightness, tames frizz, and this is a 4.5 fluid ounce bottle, and I got it from Target for $5.78. Um, the Softy Signature Anti-Itch Oil, Growth Oil, um, says it helps eliminate dry itching and flaking scalp, promotes healthy scalp for stronger, healthier hair, sulfur and tea tree formula with soothing chamomile. Um, on the back of the Dugro, it says no mineral oil, no petroleum, and it also says right there in the red, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says guaranteed results for your money back. So I'm going to hold them to that. And um, on the back of the softies, it says high potency extracts for real results. No soy, is this nestle, ester or mineral oils and it also doesn't contain petroleum either. Um, they both say that they're safe for natural, relaxed, braided or weaved hair. Um, they also both say that you can use them for um, high oil treatments and this one says you can use it for deep or high oil treatments. So I guess that means deep um, treatment, deep conditioning, probably like type thing. Um, but I do got them pretty much to like oil my scalp, um, on my wash days and to use them on my scalp like every um two to three days, um, just to alleviate itching. So I'm gonna review the um sorry. <laughs> The Do Grow Anti Itch Growth Oil first. Um, it's like a green color. Um, I'll actually type in the ingredients and put them in the info box because I don't really feel like reading them all. Um, but they have some of the same things in them. Um, quite a few of the same things. But um, if I had to say which ingredient list I prefer. It would have to be the softy signature, just because um I don't know because it has it doesn't have that one ingredient that I read the no soy m e t h y l ester and that's actually the second ingredient in the do grow one so I don't know what it is about that that why um. Softy doesn't have it in there, but probably that. And then Dugo has paraben, a paraben in it, and the Softy doesn't. But um, that's and the Softy has like a lot more oils as well as a lot more um, extracts in it. But anyway, so my experience with the Dugo anti itch growth oil. The first time I used it, I clarified my hair with a sulfate shampoo, and then I used a moisturizing sulfate free shampoo. And then I deep conditioned, and on damp hair, I went ahead and I applied the oil to my scalp before putting on my leave-in. Um, and it did tangle my scalp um, really good, really. And it um, kept my scalp from itching for the most part for about a day um, and that was about it and so I would reapply it, reapply it every um, like I said 
two to three nights. I think at first I was doing it like every other night and I felt like that was too much. And I no longer, after that first time, ever felt the tingling um, or soothing or any other kind of feeling from it. So um, I stopped using it as much and gradually I just um, completely stopped using it. I used it back in March up until like the beginning of April and then I just stopped. And um, the worst thing about this product is like around my um, hairline, but like actually on my face, even um, in the middle of my forehead, I had a, I had several um, actually pimples to pop up with like pus in them and they were like really red and gave me headaches and just were like very sore. Um, it also made my scalp like really like um, sensitive, like even more sensitive than it already is, very tender and sore, um, especially from about here in my crown all the way to my nape in this middle section, about that much of um, a portion. And um, on my scalp in that area, it just made it like really, really irritated and made it feel like um, literally like no lie. There was like a spider or some kind of bug just sitting there biting my scalp like probably like sometimes it felt like sacking. Like just seconds apart from each other. Just like something was just literally sitting back there just biting my scalp. And it just made it so tender to where I couldn't even scratch my scalp. I literally had to use my fingertips to rub and like massage. And if you have an itchy, flaky scalp, you know how that feeling is. Just rubbing it does not always help. Yes, it's better, but it doesn't help. Because I was scratching and because my scalp was so like irritated and just sensitive, extra sensitive and tender that like I didn't pull my skin off, like scratch my skin off, but I felt like I was scratching my skin off. And that was happening even once I was just rubbing and massaging it. My skin was like, it just felt like it, I don't know what it did to my hair, but it was just a horrible experience. So, um. I would not recommend this product to anyone. Um, I did not purchase even one of these oils for the fact that they say they're growth oils. I purchased them for the fact that they say that they are anti-inch um, oils. So I didn't pay any attention to whether I got any growth from either one of them. And um, like I said, that's not what I bought it for. So I can't really speak on the growth part. but. Um, yeah, this is just, in my opinion, a terrible product. I did purchase both of these products with my own money. I was not sent any of the products. I am not affiliated with any of the companies. And, um, I mean, if it worked for you, then great. Continue using it. But something in it, I'm obviously allergic to, and especially in the middle to the very nape of my, um, neck or my head, how you want to say it, area. Um, I also got those pimples in the back of my nape area. It wasn't even on my neck. It was in my nape, like actually in my hair. But it was just horrible. Um, so, would never lie again, would not recommend it. The Softy Signature Growth Oil, um, I did it the same way, sulfate, clarified with sulfate shampoo, moisturizer, sulfate free shampoo, and deep condition. Um, and I actually never ever felt anything from this and that's why I have so much left because now I just add it to my deep conditioner so I can get it used up. I also used this one in my deep conditioner so I was using it as well. Um, and I still didn't feel any like tingling or anything while I was deep conditioning. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm using this for now. I've never felt a tingling or soothing, as it says, with soothing um, chamomile. I've never felt any of that um, with this. So I was disappointed in it. Only thing this oil did was just make my scalp itch like 
when I put any other oil on my scalp. I'm finding that oils, even 100% natural oils, like this jojoba oil right here, um, makes my scalp itch. So, um, I guess, I don't know, I guess I'm allergic to oils, like all oils on my scalp. Um, but I don't really want to say it, but my scalp, I guess I could say my scalp just doesn't like the oil. So this really just did nothing for me. And then that they have like tea tree and menthol and sulfur, this one has in it. And this one has uh, menthol, tea tree oil and different stuff like that. I um, really don't associate those um, for putting them on my hair, like filling my ends or putting them on my hair. Um, period. I mean, when I massage the men, if they got on my hair, then yeah, that was fine. But I mean, I was putting my leave ins on. But other than on my moisturizer, when I did it at night. Um, but other than that, like, I got no um, results that I was looking for for the tingling or soothing from this product. Just nothing. Just made my scalp itch, the normal itch that I get from any other oil. And this one was just completely terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's my review. So, um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any comments, if you use either one of these oils, both of them, um, please leave your comments at the bottom or make a video response and link it um, in the comment area. And like I said, I have the ingredients for both of these in the info box. So thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day.